To me, what makes them so special is the fact that they see the potential to create beauty from everywhere. That they've created a business, created a life, and raised a family in this town, just like so many others. And yet they have also uh, enriched the lives of everyone here because of their reach into the community through the form of art. Betty and Corky have been determined, and I know will always be determined, to make sure that the performing arts is a big part of Madison. I think for Betty, it's just the, the, the breath of life, that you can't live a life that's worth living without having it infused with the arts. So the arts uh, have, have always loomed as something that I wanted in my own life and in my children's lives and my grandchild's lives and, and certainly in the lives of others. Probably the arts-related thing from the past that I'm the most identified with is Madison Ballet. And I became involved when Genevieve, our daughter, was a, just a little girl and trying out for the Nutcracker. They have gotten this passion through their daughter, who is a beautiful ballerina, and formerly with the Oakland Ballet, and is currently in San Francisco dancing. Betty and Corky Custer have been such an important part of the Madison Ballet family. They recognize that the importance of the arts is not to just provide the arts, but to provide access to the arts. One of Betty and Corky's favorite programs at Madison Ballet is our Movement in Your World program. For us to be able to go into the Head Start programs and work with these young children who would not necessarily have access to, in particular, ballet, but any sort of movement, really provides a real bright spot for Madison Ballet as well as the performing arts community. Betty and Corky's contribution allows us to bring very, very specific dance programming directly to the community. And without their support, I just do not think that we would be able to nurture the people that we have touched over the last few years. They're pretty amazing people. It was actually my experience watching kids interact with art that made me realize that the arts are vital. They're not just pleasant, they're not just enjoyable, they are vital. Corky was attracted to CTM um, because of the commitment to the arts for young people, um, the value of seeing what happens to young people when they're involved with a creative project such as the theater. His son was involved at a younger age and he could see what the value of that was not only to his own son but to a lot of other youth out there. Corky has helped CTM believe in itself and help the, all the children and young people that come through any of the programs here to experience the transformative power of the theater. Many people in our community, particularly those who are in need, are often defined only by their needs. And it's really important that people are defined by their gifts and what they have to offer as well. I think the art's given us an opportunity to make a really powerful statement to people that what comes from you, what comes from your creativity is valuable and brings something to our community. The Lucia Community Education Center is a really special partnership between the schools, the community, the city. It's a place where people come together both to get help when they need it and to give help when they can and everybody who walks through the door is seen as someone who has a gift, who has something to share. Betty and Corky Custer are two of the main reasons this center exists. We wouldn't be here without them. I, I just felt that there were other children that don't, didn't have the same opportunities that we could provide for our children. Betty Custer really was the heart and soul of the effort to raise the money and build this building. We do arts programming with all ages at the center, from elementary and middle school age kids all the way up to senior citizens. We have pieces of art throughout our center that were actually created by community members. When a young person creates a piece of art, whether it's music or poetry or dance, and the community says that's valuable, that's good, that reflects on them. It's what came from them, it's what came from inside them, and we're saying what comes from inside you is good. And that's exactly the kind of opportunity that the Custers were trying to create. To make something from nothing is so empowering and so valuable, and it's most valuable, I think, to young people, especially young people that may question their ability to do anything worthwhile at all. Our whole community benefits when all of the gifts and talents of our community members are developed and nurtured. 
and arts are a big piece of that. We've just started to see what that center can do for people. The arts expand us. They, the arts allow other people to share their, their visions and their knowledge and their feelings with us in a way that nothing else does. We are blessed with some fantastic arts organizations in this town. I want to see them just get to the point where they're not scuffling from month to month and where they can plan and grow and expand and most importantly put more resources into bringing that art out to people who have never seen it and, and I mean this very literally and whose lives can be changed. I have seen this happen. I have seen people's lives be changed by the fact that they saw a work of art or a performance that they had never seen before. I think the arts um, allows people to, to find uh, their inner soul, but at the same time to be learning skills that will help them in whatever profession they decide they might want to try and pursue. To me what the Custers represent is a value system which says beauty is everywhere and it comes from all of us and all of us should have the opportunity to create it and all of us should have the opportunity to appreciate what, our, what other members in the community create. What we need to do is we need to bring ourselves to the stage. And that is what Betty and Corky do. They bring themselves to the stage and they bring their heart and soul to the stage and make sure that everyone knows that the performing arts is something to be proud of and something to support in our community.